Ever heard someone say electric cars are just terrible? Too expensive, no range, bad for our planet, dying batteries and nowhere to charge. Or maybe you're already convinced EVs are the future, but your friends and family keep repeating these claims every time you bring them up. I used to believe all the negative hype myself until I dug into the real facts and numbers that changed everything. Today, I'm about to flip everything you think about electric vehicles on its head. Whether your EV curious or already an enthusiast, you'll discover powerful responses to these biggest myths. And when you see how much money these cars can actually save you, you'll be wondering why no one told you sooner. So ready to bust some myths and arm yourself with facts? Let's go. Now, electric cars get a lot of hate these days. I hear all the time when I'm out and about, they cost too much, they'll leave you stranded. They're actually worse for the planet. But what if these popular opinions aren't actually based on facts? You see, I've done the research, checked the numbers, and today I'm sharing the truth about five EV myths that might be stopping you from making a smart switch. So let's start with the big one, money. I can't afford an electric car, they're way too pricey. I hear this all the time. And yes, when you look at the price tag in the showroom, EVs often cost more up front than petrol cars. But here's what most people miss. They miss the running costs. The Environmental Protection Agency found that the Hyundai Ioniq Electric cost just £400 a year to drive 15,000 miles. A similar petrol car, nearly £1,500. That's £5,000 saved over five years. Just think about what you could do with that extra cash. Plus EVs need way less maintenance, no oil changes, few moving parts to break down, and less wear on the brakes thanks to regenerative braking. But wait, there's something huge happening that most people don't really talk about. The second-hand EV market is booming right now. And you know what happens with used cars? All that VAT, DD fees, and commission gets wiped away. I was shocked when I looked at three-year-old electric models. Some were, I don't know, 40% cheaper than new. That's like getting a nearly new car for almost half the price. And because EVs have fewer moving parts, a used electric car often has less wear and tear than a petrol car of the same age. It's like getting more car for less money. And you know what else? It just feels different driving an electric car. The smooth acceleration, the instant torque when you press the pedal, the near silent ride. Once you've experienced it, going back to a noisy vibrating petrol engine feels like stepping back in time. And trust me, I was blown away the first time I test drove one. And guys, do you want to stay ahead of the EV curve? Every Thursday, I send out a comprehensive analysis of the week's biggest developments in the electric vehicle space. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description. But let's be honest, saving money doesn't matter if you're constantly worried about running out of battery, right? Range anxiety, that fear of being stranded with a dead battery. Do you know what? I totally get it. I actually felt the same way until I looked at the actual numbers. Today's electric cars average 300 miles on a single charge. Guys, that's London to Newcastle. And some models even push past 400 miles. That's London to Edinburgh. But here's the kicker. 98% of all car journeys in the UK are under 50 miles. That's 98%. And you know what? Most of us charge once or twice a week and we're good to go. Now, let me tell you something that really opened my eyes. Have you noticed how much negative content about EVs pops up in your feeds and the news? There's a reason for that, clicks and eyeballs. You see, media outlets need viewers to keep their advertisers happy. And you know what gets more clicks than EVs that work great? Headlines like EV stranded on motorway or charging nightmare for electric driver. What they're doing is they're creating fear, anxiety and doubt because that's what sells. It's the same reason why we see a shark attack story every summer, even though you're more likely to be injured by a toilet than a shark. And don't let these sensationalized stories cloud your judgment. The numbers actually tell a different story. But wait, are these green cars actually good for the planet? Let's find out. Those batteries are terrible for the environment. EVs aren't actually green. I've heard this one a thousand times. And you know what? It made me wonder, what's the real impact here? The Union of Concerned Scientists did a complete study looking at everything from mining materials, making batteries, building the car, driving it, and exposing it at the end. And do you know what their verdict was? EVs actually produce fewer emissions over their entire life than petrol cars. This was true in 
every region they studied. Even when powered by a current electricity mix, which isn't 100% renewable yet, EVs still come out ahead. And as our grid gets greener, so do the cars. And here's something I realized recently. Have you noticed on newer petrol cars, they have that auto stop start type feature? And do you know what? When an engine switches off at a traffic lights, they even put those little graphics on the dash showing you how much less pollution you're creating when the engine stops. And manufacturers are literally trying to make petrol cars act more like electric ones. Now imagine having that auto off feature permanently activated. That's what an EV is, zero emissions at the tailpipe all the time. And just think about it, sitting in traffic on a hot summer day in a petrol car, you're pumping out fumes that you know everyone around you is breathing in. In an EV, nothing, just silence and clean air. But what about those expensive batteries? Don't they die quickly? You'll be replacing that expensive battery in three to four years time. And that's another myth I think we all used to believe. But the data tells a completely different story. A huge study of 15,000 electric vehicles found that only 2.5% had any battery issues. And for newer models after 2016, that number drops to just 0.5%. You see, most EV batteries keep 70 to 80% of their original capacity, even after 10 years of driving. That's longer than most people keep their cars anyway. Plus, and plus, the batteries are getting better every single year. The technology is actually improving rapidly. And you know what I found really interesting? A lot of these battery failure stories that come from places like California or Texas in the US, where people regularly drive 100 plus miles a day, here in the UK, our driving habits are completely different. Most of us don't do massive road trips every weekend. And even when we do take longer journeys, like the summer holiday to Cornwall, we're going to stop anyway. You know, for a coffee, for lunch, for a toilet break. And guess what? That's the perfect time to plug in for 20 to 30 minutes. You see, modern fast chargers can add 100 plus miles in the time it takes to grab a coffee and use the loo. And by the time you're back to your car, you're ready to go. But what about charging? Where do you even plug these things in? There's nowhere to charge. I'll be hunting around for stations all day. Now this might have been true just two to three years ago, but the, but the UK has transformed its charging network at an incredible pace. You see, we already have over 44,000 public charge points across the country with plans for 100,000 more coming soon. But here's what most people don't realize. The best charger is actually your one at home. You see, most EV owners wake up every morning with their full tank. Their car has been charging while they were sleeping. And you see, public chargers are mostly for long trips or top-ups when you're out shopping. And speaking of shopping, have you ever noticed how many supermarkets now have charging points? You've got supermarkets like Tesco, Sainsbury's, Lidl. They're all adding chargers to their car parks. Even multi-story car parks in the city centres are installing them. And you know, I was in Birmingham last month and I counted 15 chargers in one car park. And the reality is that the charging infrastructure is growing faster than EV adoption. The network is ready and it's waiting for you. I've just demolished five of the biggest EV myths with cold, hard facts. And the next time someone tells you EVs are too expensive, remind them about the thousands in running costs you'll save over five years. When they worry about range, hit them with the reality that 98% of our daily journeys are covered easily on a single charge. And if they claim EVs aren't environmentally friendly, show them the complete life cycle studies proving they produce fewer emissions than petrol cars. And when battery concerns come up, share how modern EV batteries are lasting 10 plus years with minimal degradation. And those charging worries? Tell them about our rapidly expanding network of 44,000 public charge points with 100,000 more on the way. Good luck guys, the electric revolution isn't just coming, it's already here, so you don't miss it. And look guys, do you wanna stay ahead of the EV curve? Every Thursday, I send out a comprehensive analysis of the week's biggest developments in the electric vehicle space. From breaking technical innovations to market movements that matter, the Electric Oracle Weekly delivers the insights you need straight to your inbox. It's free, it's focused, and it's made for people who want to understand where the industry is really heading. You'll find the sign up link in the description below. I'd love to know which of these myths had you believe in. And has this changed your mind about EVs at all? 
Guys, drop a comment down below. And if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more myth busting goodness. Your support helps me make videos like this one. So guys, until next time, my name's Des from The Electric Oracle and I'll see you in the next video.